हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल केमिकल अड्डा प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू लर्न अबाउट द इंटीग्रेटेड रेट इक्वेशन फॉर जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन फॉर वेरिएबल वॉल्यूम बैच रिएक्टर लेट स्टार्ट बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट इज जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन सो इन जीरो ऑर्डर रिएक्शन द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट Hence in zero order reaction the reaction rate equation doesn't consist concentration term Let's have zero order reaction which is represented by A gives product Therefore for zero order reaction the rate of disappearance of reactant A can be written as minus RA is equal to K equation number 1 where minus RA is the rate of disappearance of A and k is the reaction rate constant so as we are determining the integrated rate equation for a zero order reaction in a variable volume batch reactor so the general equation of the rate of disappearance of a for a variable volume batch reactor can be written as minus ra is equal to ca0 divided by 1 plus epsilon axa into dxa by dt equation number 2 where CA0 is the initial concentration of A. XA is the conversion of A. And epsilon A is the fractional change in volume of the reaction system between no conversion and complete conversion of reactant A. So after comparing equations 1 and 2, we get CA0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into DXA by DT is equal to K equation 3. So to find an integrated rate equation for the zero order reaction we have to integrate equation 3 hence as we have equation 3 so let us integrate equation 3 within the limit at t is equal to 0 xa is equal to 0 and t is equal to t xa is equal to xa before that first let us rearrange the equation 3 we have CA0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into DXA is equal to K into DT equation 4 So after integrating equation 4 we get integration from 0 to XA CA0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into DXA is equal to integration from 0 to T K DT So on the left side of the equation CA0 is the initial concentration of A and it is constant hence we can take it out from the integration sign and on the right side of the equation we can apply the integration formula hence equation becomes ca0 integration from 0 to xa dxa by 1 plus epsilon axa is equal to k in bracket t with limit 0 to t so after solving the right side of the equation we get CA0 integration from 0 to xa dxa by 1 plus epsilon axa is equal to k into t Now let us solve the left side of the equation For that let us put 1 plus epsilon axa is equal to y Now let us differentiate both sides so we get dy is equal to d of 1 plus epsilon axa Then after applying differentiation formula we get dy is equal to epsilon a dx a from this we can write dx a is equal to dy divided by epsilon a now let us change the limit first let's calculate y when x a is equal to 0 as we have y is equal to 1 plus epsilon a x a let us put x a is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 1 and similarly let's calculate y when x a is equal to x a hence we get y is equal to 1 plus epsilon a x a now we are going to integrate equation 5 within the new limit for that we have to write dy by epsilon a in the place of dx a and y in the place of 1 plus epsilon a x a so as we have equation 5 as so let us integrate equation 5 within the new limit when t is equal to 0 xa is equal to 0 and hence y is equal to 1 and when t is equal to t xa is equal to xa and hence y is equal to 1 plus epsilon axa therefore equation 5 becomes 
CA0, integration from 1 to 1 plus epsilon AXA, dy by epsilon A, divided by Y, is equal to K into T. After rearranging the term, the equation can be written as CA0 by epsilon A, integration from 1 to 1 plus epsilon AXA, dy divided by Y, is equal to K into T. After applying the integration formula, we get After applying the limit, we have Hence, after solving the equation, we get the equation as CA0 by epsilon A into ln of 1 to 1 plus epsilon AXA is equal to K into T. This equation is an integrated rate equation for zero order reaction for variable volume batch reactor. But as we know, in variable volume batch reactor, the volume of the reaction system varies linearly with conversion. Hence, we have V is equal to V0 into 1 plus epsilon AXA. From that, we can write 1 plus epsilon AXA is equal to V by V0. If we put V by V0 in the place of 1 plus epsilon AXA in equation 6, we get an equation. CA0 by epsilon A into ln of V by V0 is equal to K into T. Hence this is another form of integrated rate equation for zero order reaction for variable volume batch reactor. Hence, this means that for a variable volume batch reactor, there are two kinds of integrated rate equations for zero order reactions. To plot the graph, let's rearrange the equations. Hence we get. From this equation, we can conclude that. We can plot the graph of ln of 1 plus epsilon AXA or ln of V by V0 versus T. It means that if we plot T on the x-axis and ln of 1 plus epsilon AXA or ln of V by V0 on the y-axis, we get a straight line in the first quadrant of graph when epsilon A is greater than 0 and with a slope of k epsilon are divided by CA0. Similarly for epsilon A is less than 0. We get a straight line in the fourth quadrant of graph when epsilon A is less than 0 and with a slope of minus k epsilon A divided by CA0. So that's all about the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction for variable volume batch reactor. So keep watching. In the next video, we will discuss another topic. So, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Adda.